Hey everybody, and welcome to this video about uh, how we can connect an HTML and CSS website, a static website, with a backend uh, using PHP and MySQL. So right now, you can see here we have this uh, this website here that is uh, just made up of HTML and CSS. We have some ASCII, Flintstones, and some other things uh, that. Uh, is hard coded into this website. We also have a database, a very simple database called ASCII DB, and we have a data table in there called ASCII Art with uh, four columns in there. And we also have some test, test data. Okay, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to uh, put in some functionality to uh, work with the database. And I have made a file called db.php that will take care of this. And it uh, consists of two functions, one called connect to db and the other one called get ASCII arts from db. And if we take this one here first, we can see that this is a function that uh, yeah, does what the name says, connects to the database. And therefore we have some variables uh, that is used to connect to the database. We have the server name, localhost, uh, the username, which is root because we are using a, a local development environment, and we have password, which is empty right now, also because it is uh, run on a local development environment. If you're using this on a real domain, you will have a password. Uh, hopefully you have. And also we have the database name, uh, so PHP knows what database we are working on. Okay, and then we have a function here called get ASCII art from DB. This is actually the place where all the magic happens because this is a function that talks to the database, uh, makes the query to communicate with the database, and then it uh, puts all the information from the database in uh, some formatted HTML. Uh, First, we need to uh, connect or uh, place some uh, some some more sensible stuff in here instead of this uh, write something here. So the database name, we need to type some information in here, and our database was called ASCII underscore DB. We will type this in. This is brilliant, and we we'll go to get ASCII art from DB function where we have the query where we want to have every ASCII art rows from the database. So what type of query should we have here? Well, if we know something about SQL, we will type in selects because we want to select something from the database. We want to have every column and then we should type from, and then we should type in the data table. And that was called ASCII underscore art. If I can know how to type correctly. <laughs> Select everything from ASCII art. Very nice. We have one last thing here called write something here. And this is where we access the individual columns inside the row. We already have the title here, and we need to have the actual ASCII art. So what is that column for that? That is called content. All right. This should be it for this function here. Okay, we will save it. And let's see if we have a change in our website. So nothing happens. Okay. Uh, the reason is that we have just made this function here. We haven't really connected it to our index.php file. You can see here we still have all this static information uh, that is also on our website. So we need to uh, replace all this uh, static code with uh, some real PHP code that will talk to the database. So first I will take away all this static code here. This is gone. We can have a look at our website. Yep, we don't have any information anymore. So now we just need to um, we need to do two things here. First, 
we need to include our PHP file in the very top of this file. This we have to do so that uh, the index.php uh, can access the function, uh, the get ASCII art from database function. So we will type in here include and the file is called db. Oh, db.php semicolon and finishing tag. Okay, this will ensure that we have access to the functions in here and that we can call them on our uh, on our page. So we will go back to index.php and we will put this in here. We need to surround it by some PHP tags. And we also we also need to echo it out because otherwise there won't be anything printed to the browser. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, we actually uh, we actually have some information now. You can see we have oh there is Garfield. So we have three ASCII arts in there. Uh, let's have a look in the database if that is correctly. So we have three rows in here. Let's see what happens when we delete one of the rows. All right. So now we have two rows in here. So we actually have a connection to, from our website uh, to the database. And now this website is transformed from being a static HTML CSS website into a dynamic uh, three-layered web application. Thank you very much, people. Bye-bye.